Over to the Eastern Cape, our VWA is there. Thanks for that, uh, Nobis uh, What What happened over the weekend and what are we expecting today there? Jen, I just want to take you back to last year. Remember, the Eastern Cape was the troublesome province, while the country as a whole was on a hard lockdown. A lot of people tried to make it um, back into the Eastern Cape, especially using public transport. Remember the reports along um, the garden route, especially uh, public transport coming from the Western Cape, making their way, cars that were caught uh, during that hard lockdown. But now I just want to get a better understanding of what has happened over the Easter weekend that we saw. Now joining me is the head of communications, Kusel Aramji, in the province. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Kusel. Uh, but maybe give us an idea of how this particular Easter weekend was and the, just the death tolls, that, uh, figures that you have. It was a fairly busy Easter weekend. I think um, it was better than last year in terms of um, the management of numbers because you would understand that last year we had to enforce regulations and ensure that we close every corner of the province to make sure that people that are not supposed to be getting in do not get in. But as, as you would know, um, Easter weekend is one of those weekends uh, where we have uh, many people trying to go back home um, uh, trying to make sure that they, they are back in time to uh, have the Easter services at the churches that they are used to. And that um, um, leads to a high number of vehicles on our, our roads and increasing uh, prospects of having uh, crashes on our roads. And therefore, we did um, over this weekend uh, have such happening. And we were making sure as a department that we are operational like 24-7 to make sure that we um, uh, look after the areas where we normally have accidents and also the critical times where we would know we have noticed over the years that we would have accidents. We've noticed that um, in days leading to the Easter weekend, we had a high number of people arrested for drunk driving over a three weeks uh, period, uh, calculating just the weekends. We've had about 262 uh, drivers between the ages of 20 and 71 uh, getting arrested for drunk driving, which is something that uh, concerns us as a department because it means that we still have people that do not have any regard for the law. We still have people that willingly go out there and put themselves at risk and also other fellow road users. And one of the things that we also noticed with the statistics for drunk driving was the fact that we had a fairly high number of female young drivers that were also arrested for drunk driving. And we thinking that as a department we perhaps need to do more in terms of educating our people, in terms of going out there and engaging young people and also the older ones. Because when you look at a 71-year-old, I mean, you would expect that, that someone who has experience and would um, uh, um, uh, obey all the rules of the road. So those were some of the challenges that we were dealing with um, over the past um, uh, festive season. But in terms of numbers, we, we have also noticed that um, we also back to the region that we, we found ourselves over the 2019 um, Easter weekend. Of course, the minister will later today unpack those details. But um, as a province, we've had um, over 20 people that died on our roads and, and uh, the highest number we've had an accident that took about uh, seven lives in in one day so those are some of the issues that um, are happening in the province and those are some of the concerns from the size of side of the department and we're working with all other law enforcement agencies to make sure that our uh, operations are integrated and we use the numbers and then stretch them enough to cover all the critical areas and the critical times where we normally have accidents and just quickly, you compare those numbers to 2019. Um, are we going to expect a similar figure uh, today when the minister announces that? And were people COVID-19 compliant on the road? Yes, we will expect uh, similar numbers um, to those of 2019. And if you look generally from 2015 and you compare the numbers, we're seeing the same trends that, um, over Easter weekend. And, and in terms of COVID-19, uh, um, people were complying generally. But of course, um, if you look at the number of people that we're saying uh, those were drunk drivers, also you would expect that they were not uh, very compliant. But we are happy with the um, assistance that we are having from the taxi industry which is the biggest mover of people where we're finding that uh, both operators and the drivers and also the passengers are all trying to their level best to comply in ensuring that they wear the masks and we found that in those long distance um, uh, buses taxis when we interact with them what we found is that uh, they are 
um, sanitizers, people are sanitizing at uh, regular intervals as they continue with their journey. And were people moving um, in large numbers coming into the province, going home for the Easter weekend? Yes, we have uh, people that moved in, in, in large numbers. Um, one of our biggest uh, or our busiest routes in the province becomes your R61 um, in, in the main the section between the Western Cape and, uh, and your former Transkei area. Obviously, that continues to be um, a, a one of the busiest routes, the N2 uh, from your East London to Amtata. And one of the things um, that you must notice about the Easter weekend, unlike your uh, uh, festive season holidays, we've got a shorter period where people want to go and, and, and touch base with their families and also go back home. So that uh, also increases or adds in, in terms of the rush that you find people trying to get uh, home quick and also go back uh, much quicker. So those are some of the dynamics that we deal with uh, when we are dealing with the Easter weekend, which we view that or with, as a department we think that they contribute largely to the high number of accidents that we normally have around this time. Thank you very much. Kusel Ranchi, the head of communications in the Eastern Cape, saying we can expect similar numbers uh, from the numbers that we saw in 2019. Sadly, over 20 people lost their lives uh, on the road in the Eastern Cape. An accident with the most lives lost was about seven people, but the issues really are around drunk driving, and you heard that um, a lot of those drunk drivers were actually female. Yeah, terrible everywhere. Thank you very much for that.